What up, dude bros? I'm Frank. This video review is a group review of two Zing Toys blasters. Fire Tech crossbow, very similar, if not identical, plus a light to the Dinos uh, Hunters crossbow I reviewed earlier. And the Fire Tech's Zy Clone, which is <laughs> really weird. Included is the crossbow, three dart arrow things, the instructions, and the and the scope. <laughs> Included is the launcher and the um, this projectile thing. Crazy light up disc of doom. Yeah, instead of dart. Mm. So this is the launcher thing, and this is the projectile ring dart thing. So the front thing is here. These yellow things are bungee cords. When you pull down, that's what's propelling your dart projectile ring thing. This red thing here is a handle, which you're pulling on. And back here is another handle. This trigger is not to fire, it's to turn on that light for, you know, because that needs a trigger. Before I load, I'll turn on the ammo. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Then you stick the styrofoam thing on there. Boom, loaded. I'm a little cautious to fire this because it's so much weight and I can like knock stuff over. But you're supposed to uh, pull it back like that and then let go. Where can I, I cannot safely fire this anywhere. I have too much camera gear. Probably gonna knock my back around down. First science, like that. Boom, <laughs> that's the basic operation. I still have not gotten used to this. I've tried to fire it a bunch and I, I can't seem to aim it. You pull back on it as you're like pushing forward. I feel like it'd be way more stable if they somehow put this forward so I could pull on the grip like that, and it would feel more like a slingshot and much more stable. Of course, then it's gonna fly into my hand. I totally get that, but you know, seems like an inherent design flaw. More on that after I shoot it. <laughs> Fire Tech crossbow is pretty much the same as the Dino Hunter's crossbow if you watched that video review a while back. It's pretty much the same product, but when you push in over here, LEDs turn on. And each little crossbow bolt or uh, arrow or whatever has a little on switch. If I'm playing against humans at night, I think it'd be way more intimidating to have arrows just like landing in darkness. It would scare the crap out of me personally. If I could see them coming, it would be a little bit easier to dodge. You know, you naturally fear what you cannot see. So if invisible ninja arrows were shooting you at night, that seems way more tactical than lit ones. But if you're not shooting at people, it looks way cooler as a shooter to be able to see them track. Looks like tracer darts going pew, pew. To the crossbow, there are little clamps under here to hold extra darts or bolts. These little arms do pivot, but what's powering your arrow are these bungee cords. And it is a crossbow, not a bow, like pull and release. It does have a catch so you can actually like hit stuff with decently accurate shots. That's made possible with this little nub right here, which catches the square indentation of the bolt. It has a built-in safety so you can't press the trigger until you click it once, then when you press it'll release, and assuming that's under tension, it'll fling forward. So loading, you put these two little hooks into the rings, pull back, and that'll catch on there. So press the safety off, then pull the trigger, turn on the lights for the lels. I did it for the lels. <laughs> and if you notice when I fired, there's a distinct lack of sound. Holy ninja status. <laughs> so I'll show you both of these things firing. The chrono data with the arrow would not be relevant at all because you don't have anything to compare it to and I, that won't fit through my chrono. <laughs> Overall conclusions drawn, uh, this thing, I can't aim it at all. Um, I practiced a little bit and it's just obnoxious. I think there's an inherent design flaw. When you're pushing away with this red handle here, it, it's very difficult to stabilize. Compared to a slingshot where you're pulling or like a bow or anything when your tension is behind you, not when you're pushing away from it because my hand here is just like wiggling and I can't get an accurate shot. Furthermore, the basic theory of this product is difficult to get on board with because it's a $30 product, or at least that's what it retails for in the US, and it comes with one of these projectiles. So when you lose your projectile or break it, which because it's foam, most of us eventually damage darts and need to replace them. There's no simple solution. And even if they sold them separately, that's gonna be an expensive projectile. I personally don't want it in my head before I take a shot saying, hmm, am I gonna lose a 
potentially $30 toy compared to a Nerf dart, which is like a quarter or whatever. Not as bad, but still an issue with the crossbow. These bolts are kind of expensive, but the performance out of this thing, it shoots hard, it shoots fast, and it shoots pretty accurately. These bolts don't really have any curvature to them when they're flying. It's not like they arc or do anything. They fly in pretty straight lines and they fly hard and fast. I would actually hesitate to use these inside to shoot at people because within close ranges, it's a lot of energy here. That's a relatively heavy projectile. And this plastic part is recessed behind the foam ring. So if you hit somebody, uh, that the foam is most likely going to hit somebody before the plastic, but the chance is still there. So I would also hesitate to shoot that at somebody, although it would be super intimidating. I mean, look at that. Okay, maybe that wasn't super intimidating, but shut up. <laughs> So kind of mixed reviews. I don't think either of these were really intended for, for nerfer nerfers, like performance nerfers who want to pew pew at each other. But hopefully I provided all the information in the firing demo so you can make the decision to buy it, whether or not you want it for whatever type of foam flinging madness you'd like to participate in. So that concludes the review. I'll put purchase links to both of these products in the description box below. That's it. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, stay tactical.